Yes, it is necessary to put a lot of efforts to shield Indonesia tourism industry from coronavirus outbreak. And in this segment, I would like to elaborate to you some data related to that. The first one is about government efforts to shield Indonesia tourism industry from coronavirus in detail. And this is the tourism incentive scheme in mitigating impact caused by coronavirus outbreak. Um, the um, various of programs uh, planning to be implemented by government. The first one is promotional activities as much as 103 billion rupiah. And then after that, we have airways and travel agents, or will, the incentive will be allocated for airways and travel agents as much as 98.5 billion rupiah, influencers 72 billion rupiah, and tourism activities as much as 25 billion rupiah. The government will provide an incentive of 298.5 billion rupiah to encourage foreign tourists to visit to various destina uh, destinations in Indonesia. The reason domestic tourism slug is affected by the increasingly severe coronavirus spread. Promotional activities received uh, the largest amount, amounting to 103 billion rupiah. Then airline and travel agents also get incentive of up to 98.5 billion rupiah in order to provide special discounts to foreign tourists. Influencer services and tourism activities believed or received 72 billion rupiah and 25 billion rupiah respectively. And hopefully the efforts will work really well and another subsector from tourism also affected by coronavirus outbreak and that is small medium enterprises so how huge the impact on the sector let's see the data this is SME as a sector got hit by coronavirus outbreak and uh, in food and beverages sector the yellow ones indicate for the micro segment uh, the red one is indicate for small sector and uh, green one is uh, indicates for the uh, medium uh, segment as you can see uh, food and beverages is the sector that uh, got hit most by the coronavirus outbreak tourism is the sector most affected by the coronavirus or now called COVID-19 the Indonesian Institute of Sciences or LIPI projects that one of the affected uh, sectors in the tourism sector will be micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs, especially in the food and beverage business unit. In addition, wood and rattan handicraft became business units affected by COVID-19. In the two business units, the largest scope of micro businesses was affected, namely as much as 27% uh, of micro businesses in the food and beverage business unit and and 17.03% in wood and rattan handicrafts. And for uh, information, the total loss from the tourism sector reached 2 billion US dollar with a decrease in her um, craft growth of 0.013% profession of accommodation by 0.008% and food and beverage by 0.006%. And as I mentioned earlier, government is giving incentive for domestic tourists in the form of discount for airplane ticket for 10 prioritized tourism destination. So how far the coronavirus outbreak affecting domestic tourists plan to go travel? Let's see the data. This is the sur uh, survey conducted and um, they're kind of asking after uh, the coronavirus outbreak, are they will uh, still continue the plan or not? This one is um, conducted by Jackpot by February. Uh, 2020 uh, for those who already bought the ticket uh, indicated by the um, blue bar and then the yellow one indicate for the, uh, the the one that haven't buy the ticket and as you can see they they are planning to um, uh, continue the plan especially uh, for the one that already bought the ticket and uh, yeah the um, the session is uh, quite very the spread of coronavirus affected uh, the travel plans of a number of people abroad. Those who have not purchased an airline ticket will reconsider the purchase as much as 57% uh, and may not even make a purchase as much as 7%. Meanwhile, respondents who had bought plane tickets said that they would continue to travel, which was 63%. Those who reconsidered or canceled trips were 34% and 3% respectively. Meanwhile, based on a survey conducted by Jackpot, 
Most respondents plan overseas trips to Southeast Asia and East Asia in 2020. The huge concern when talking about the uh, impact of coronavirus outbreak is the declining number of Chinese tourists visit to Indonesia. In fact, there is a list of tourists from some countries that are really potential in terms of market diversification. Let's see the next data. This is foreign tourists with the highest expenses based, uh, based on their originated countries and the um, highest or, or uh, tourists with the highest expenses when they're visiting Indonesia. Uh, is came from or uh, are came from Saudi Arabia with the um, average of expenses they um, used to uh, spend in uh, Indonesia as much as 2277.4 thousand US dollar and uh, after Saudi Arabia we have Egypt Russia Denmark and Canada Saudi Arabia always occupies the first position as a country with the largest expenditure of foreign tourists in Indonesia. At least from 2015 to 2018, its position never shifted. On average, tourists from Saudi Arabia spent 2,277.41 US dollar or 32.1 million rupiah. Egypt and Russia followed respectively and an average expenditure of foreign tourists of 2,129.4 US dollar and 2, and 99.87 US dollar. The nominal is equivalent to 30 million rupiah and 29.6 million rupiah. And talking about loss following pandemic events, this is the comparison of economic loss caused by pandemic events in the world. The amount of economic loss caused by 2019 and in 2020 as much as 62 billion US dollar caused by MERS as much as 10 billion US dollar, Ebola 53 billion US dollar, swine flu 50 billion US dollar, bird flu 40 billion US dollar, and SARS as much as 40 billion US dollar. And data from LearnBonds.com, the Corona Novel Virus or 2019 NCOV has become the most expensive epidemic in the last 20 years. Recorded economic losses due to viruses that attack parts of mainland China projected at 62 billion US dollar. This figure is greater than the economic loss from Ebola, which is valued at 53 billion US dollar. The report also mentions the Chinese government prioritizes the prevention of the virus by allocating funds of 12.6 billion US dollar. These funds are intended for medical care and equipment. In addition, leading banks have reduced interest rates for small businesses in the worst hit areas, including Hebei province, which is the center of the virus. And at the end of the day, let's hold hands each other, pray for the vaccine and the cure to prevent and heal from disease caused by coronavirus. Stay on our market lands because we will be right back after the break.